your cruise ship cabin is going to have the essentials that you need while you're on board the ship. And while it comes in a pretty good situation, you can enhance it and take full advantage of it by using all the 10 cruise ship cabin hacks that I'm going to be sharing with you. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RealCommandBlog.com, and if you're going on a cruise ship, no doubt you may have heard that the cabins are on the smaller side. I'm not saying they're tiny, but they're not as big, certainly, as maybe some hotel rooms. Now, whether you've been on a cruise or not before, maximizing that space is going to be a priority. And there's different strategies for taking advantage of the space that you got. Whether you're staying in an inside room, moving up to a balcony, or even living the sweet life, there's ways to take advantage of what your room has to offer and maximize that space to work better for you. So today, I've got 10 cruise hacks that I think will really help you out in terms of making the experience in your cabin be just that much better. Let's start with number one. One of my favorite tips out there is store your luggage under your bed. As soon as you get into your room and your luggage is delivered to your room, what you should do after you unpack, unless you're one of those people that lives out of your suitcase for the week, no judgment here, <laughs> you can definitely take your luggage and put it underneath your bed. Underneath the bed skirt, there's plenty of space to store at least one or two bags underneath there. In fact, if your luggage can collapse in within of itself and do that like Russian doll set thingy where they kind of go in each other, well, then you can even fit more in there. It's a great spot for luggage and even strollers if you're traveling with younger children. Number two is something that I recognize as a cruise hack that's very helpful, although I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't prescribe to it, and that is packing cubes. I first learned about packing cubes from my good friend, Sherry from Cruise Tips TV, but Packing cubes can really help keep everything organized, and for a lot of people say that they're a big time saver and space saver as well. In fact, you can keep some items in the cube, just unzip, and then place the packing cube right on top of the shelf or in the drawer. This allows for easier movement and packing and repacking, especially when you're going from luggage to ship and then, of course, back into your luggage later on. If you have kids considering buying different color packing cubes for each member of the family, that way, everything is separated. Now, of course, you can get packing cubes on Amazon or a number of places, but they're very popular because I think a lot of people really recognize how helpful it is in just keeping everything together and easily moving again between your luggage and where you have to put it up. Number three, this is a tried and true method. And this hack, I'm going to say you should reserve it if you're going on a older slash smaller class of ship, perhaps the Royal Caribbean's Vision or even Radiance class. And that is an over the door hanging organizer. This can be a huge space saver for your personal products and more. You know, in the old days, and again, this is why I'm telling you for older ships, there wasn't a whole lot of storage space. The good news is if you're on newer ships like Wonder of the Seas or Odyssey of the Seas, they've added so much storage space. But if you're going on an older ship, you might consider investing in an over-the-door hanging organizer that you can usually get from places like the dollar store because that way you just hang it over the door of your shower or the door to your cabin, and it provides a lot more storage space for all of your personal products and more. All you do is just hang it over the door, and then you are able to put little things in there like suntan lotion, creams, medication, shoes, of course, hair products, and everything else. In fact, basically anything can fit in there that you can get off the ground can be a huge benefit. Number four, kind of piggybacking on that one. This one, I think, is actually really good for every cabin out there, whether you're on a new or older ship, and that's magnetic hooks. I'm not sure if you knew about it, but the cabin walls in your cabin are, well, metal. So magnetic hooks are perfect. And what you really want to do is purchase heavy-duty ones, not the ones you put on your refrigerator. But what they'll just allow you to do is be able to take these hooks and be able to hang things up. Wet bathing suits, hats, clothing, jackets. It's a real game changer when it comes to keeping your cabin organized. I heard about magnetic hooks for many years and kind of said, eh, whatever. And then one time I actually used it, and then I was really sold on it because it really does help get things off the ground and not just off the ground off the couches i am so guilty of leaving things strewn around my cabin i'll come into the room first day and i'll just put it on the sofa or couch in there and be like i'll take it off later and you know what it never goes away and it's one less place to sit so magnetic hooks are a wonderful tip number five and this is something that i really believe in pop up hampers so during the course of your cruise you're gonna have dirty laundry traditionally what we would do is we designate a laundry corner in a closet somewhere and just start tossing all of our dirty laundry into this giant mountain that would grow over the course of a cruise. Not only is it just create a mess, but it's also difficult to manage as the pile gets bigger. But a really good idea is to get up a pop-up hammer, one of those collapsible ones that are really cheap that'll probably not last more than a couple of days. All you need it for is a cruise. You're not using this the rest of your life, but you can get one at dollar stores 
or Amazon or anything else. And what's really great about the pop-up hampers is that they, number one, when you're not using them, like before you're getting on the cruise ship, they collapse all the way down. Then when you're on board the ship, you open it up, bam, they're ready to go, and you put it in your closet floor. You may want to keep a second one, maybe to put other things in there, like flip-flops and other items, but truly, I think it's a really helpful item to have in there because it helps keep laundry in a separate spot. If you got kids, you know, tell them instructions, they'll never listen to you, right? Oh, you sure, mom, we'll put it in there. Yeah, no, it ends up everywhere else. So having a laundry hamper really helps out. Number six on my list is definitely to invest in a good USB hub. Even Royal Caribbean's newest ships, there's just not enough outlets out there. And inevitably, when we're talking about what things you're talking about bringing electronic-wise, we're talking about items that you need USB plugs. Now, in today's day and age, you've got your phone, your Apple Watch, your camcorder, your iPads, and other tablets, and they all need to be charged. And unfortunately, Royal Caribbean and all the cruise lines don't allow you to bring power strips on board. Instead, what you want to do is get a USB hub. This is essentially a USB splitter in which you plug it into the wall, take up one outlet, but then open up three, five, seven, nine USB plugs. So that way you can always have your items plugged in. Again, this is very helpful on older ships that have not been amplified or updated, or even just older ships in general, because there's just never enough space for all those things to be plugged in at the same time. I can't tell you how many times at night we fight over, okay, what device needs to be plugged in? What doesn't? Because we need to free up a USB port. Next on my list of cruise cabin hacks is to invest in a cabin nightlight. Cabins are pretty dark at night, especially if you're in an inside cabin. So my basic tip for you is to invest in some sort of a light, if you will, like a night light to have in your room. It will add just enough light to the room so you don't trip over things, run into furniture, and or stub your toe all at the same time. If you're in an inside room, this is really critical because it will get pitch dark. Like, John Cena, you can't see me or anything else around you. So do yourself a favor and get a nightlight, something you can just plug in and it'll just illuminate. I like to keep it in the bathroom. That way there's a little more light shining through from there and you can keep the, obviously the bathroom door closed in the meantime. But there's just enough ambient light so that when you wake up in the middle of the night, you're not stumbling into things. Speaking of inside room hacks, one of my good friends, Emma from Emma Cruises on YouTube, you should subscribe to her channel as well. She has a great tip for inside room. She swears by these sunrise alarm clocks. So this won't help you in the middle of the night, but in the morning when it's time to wake up and you have no idea it's morning because there's no natural light in your room, the sunrise alarm clocks will literally start slowly bringing the light up. So that way it illuminates for yourself so you can more naturally wake up and know if you open one eye to see what time it is, you'll automatically know based on the light, oh, it must be morning. So check one of those out. And again, you can find night lights and the sunrise alarm clocks on Amazon. They're a real game changer for those kinds of things if you're staying in an inside cabin. If you're traveling with family, friends, or just a large group, then I think this next cruise ship cabin hack is definitely up your alley. And that is to invest in a dry erase board. Some people really like to use a dry erase board and put it on the front door, the outside part of the door, so that way they can leave messages and notes between family members or people in their group or even write down reminders. This is basically a old school way of communicating. So that way, if you're going out to the pool, you can leave a note up to the pool. It's 11 a.m. We'll be back here at 2 o'clock or something like that. Meanwhile, they can also leave you notes with a dry erase board with the marker that you have attached to it, and that can be really, really helpful. Now, these days, I personally prefer to use a internet package and message each other, but for a lot of people, they're not looking to get an internet package. They want to save some money, and a dry erase board is a wonderful cruise ship cabin hack. Number nine on my list is Ziploc bags. Boy, Ziploc bags are so helpful, both in your cabin and outside of it. You can use Ziploc bags to keep your phones and passports dry if you need to take them in the cruise port. You can also use them to store items like obviously Band-Aids and other medication you might be bringing on board. But it's really helpful to have Ziploc bags because you just don't know when they might come in handy. And the fact that they can, of course, self-seal is so helpful in so many use cases you can't even possibly imagine. So it's always a good idea to have in your cabin a couple of Ziploc bags just in case. And my last cruise ship cabin hack is to bring magnets for your door to decorate. Yeah, did you know you can decorate your cabin door? Now, you can't use tape or glue or any other adhesive, but magnets do work. And just like your cabin walls, the door outside is made of metal as well. And a lot of people like to decorate their cabin. They like to put their names and have a decoration maybe to show off where they're from, where they're going, something fun about themselves. It, it really runs the gamut. There's Hawaiian decorations. There's school flags, there's sports teams, and everything else in between. But if you're looking for something creative to do with your cabin, then I think decorating it might be a really good idea. Now, investing in some good magnets, that way you can not damage the door, but still be able to put things up there is a really good idea. So pick up the 
heavy duty magnets for inside your cabin and then some regular magnets for outside your door. So that way, if you are looking to decorate it, you have the right materials in order to keep everything hung up there. So there you have it. My 10 top 10, there may be more <laughs> cruise ship cabin hacks. I want to hear in the comments, what are your favorite cruise ship cabin hacks? Which ones do you swear by when you go on a cruise? I'd love to read those as well. And while you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications. That way YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and we'll talk again real soon.